So, I've just been made aware that the Atari VCS has actually, like, released. Like, they've shipped out the backer units, which is kind of surprising. If you've been following anything about Atari, like, over the last, like, ten years or so, you know that the original Atari, the people that made your Atari 2600, no longer exist. Like, they're gone. This is not this Atari. This company bought the Atari name and licenses, I think it was right in 2012? Somewhere around that time? And they started pumping out just shit. But now, they went to Kickstarter, and Kickstarted the Atari VCS, and I didn't realise they've added the 800, apparently. But the Atari VCS 800, and it has actually shipped out to backers. And it's just a piece of shit. <laughs> Um, no, that's 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 not fair. That's not fair. Um, basically, it's a games console with no games. It can boot Windows and certain Linux distros down. Where have they written about that? Description. Uh, they haven't put it. They haven't put it on here. Okay, great. But it can boot off the top of my head. It's Windows 10, Debian, Ubuntu, and I think there's another one. So basically, you can boot your general Linux flavors, if you will. And it's you can pre-order it, which is still sketchy as shit. But yeah, no, this is actually released, and uh, don't buy this. Just just don't buy this. Um, the reason being is it it's it, it's not powerful at all. It's it's nothing. It's not. It's not even close to an Xbox One or PS4. Never mind an Xbox Series X. Or a PlayStation 5. Because it's running an AMD Raven Ridge 2. Which is not AMD Ryzen 2. It's just an AMD Ryzen. And AMD Ryzen integrated graphics. So if you have a look here. They haven't told us which one. So we don't know if it's a 2 core 4 thread. 4 core 4 thread. Or 4 core 8 thread. We also don't know if it supports up to 32 or 64 gigabytes of memory. And we just don't know what clock speed it's running at. Because they haven't told us. Or what... TDP they're running at, or any really anything about the chip, the most important bit. The reviews that I've seen about it say that it can output 4K, but it stutters in the menus, which is never a good sign. And the games can get a bit laggy when you're running at 4K. If you're running at 1080p, it's fine. But it, it's, it's just weird, because I didn't expect this to come out. I assumed this was just going to be more Atari shovelware that was never going to see the light of day. But apparently, powers at Atari have brought this out. Some of the actual cool things about it that I wish we'd get on um, like consoles is upgradable RAM, upgradable storage, and from what I've saw, what I've saw, what I've seen, that you can actually upgrade the Wi-Fi chip as well. It's on just a mini PCI thing. So that's just kind of cool. Yeah. I just... This wasn't going to be the video I was going to do today. I've got a video on the PS Vita coming out probably the tomorrow or the day after now. But... I'm just, just a general warning. Don't 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 buy this. Don't buy this until it's like on Amazon or something. And then maybe be careful because it's not it's not a games console like an Xbox or a PlayStation or Nintendo. It's uh, it's kind of it's giving me mad Ouya vibes right now, like real mad Ouya vibes. So yeah, this was just a short video just because this generally surprised me, and I think a lot of other people are going to be surprised that this has actually come out. Like, they've shipped it. If you go on YouTube, there are people that have the physical units, and they work. So, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. If you're interested in that PS Vita video, hit subscribe so you'll be notified when that video goes live. And, hey, maybe you might enjoy some of my other videos. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.